Hi friends, today I have taken a problem from the topic partnership. The question is, Push invested 8000 and Kiran invested 12000 for a period of one year. If Kiran is sleeping partner and each of them get profit of 1200, what is the salary of Push? Question is very simple. There are two partners, Push and Kiran. Among them, in the, among them, Kiran is the sleeping partner. So, Push is the active partner. And Push has invested 8000, Kiran has invested 12000. And the time period is one year, so we need, no need to consider it. It is common for both of them. And one more is, each of them get profit of 1200. Sleeping partner gets profit of 1200 and active partner will get profit of 1200. Now we need to find out the salary of push. Let me explain one topic in partnership. In a business, there will be two types of invest investors. One is sleeping partner. The second person is active partner. Sleeping partner is a person who will just invest the money and take out profit or loss based on the share he has invested. Okay. When coming to active partner, he will work like an employee in a firm. Okay. That is, he will make investment and also he will work for the business. So he will get profit on the share. Uh, besides this, he will get salary for working um, for the business because he works for the business now so he will get the salary so that is the difference sleeping partner he will get profit on the share when coming to active partner he will get profit on the share plus salary okay there is one one formula in partnership when the time period is common just consider this formula i1 is to i2 equal to p1 is to p2 that is ratio of investments is equal to ratio of profits okay now let us look into the question. Push invested 8000, Kiran invested 12000. Let us consider Push as the first person, Kiran as second person. Okay. So first person's investment is 8000, second person's investment is 12000. I1 is 8000, I2 is 12000. Now substitute these values in the formula I1 is to I2 equal to P1 is to P2. You will get P1 is to P2 equal to 2 is to 3. That is Profit of first person is two parts. Profit of second person is three parts. Say here, see as I told you, total profit of active partner is profit on share plus salary. In the question, they asked us to find the salary of push. So to find the salary, if we can find the profit on the share, we can easily find the salary because they have given pro total profit of each, each of them. Okay. First, consider the total profit of uh, sleeping partner that is Kiran. Okay, his total profit is three parts. Okay, but they have given its value is 1200. So, sleeping partner's profit P2 equal to three parts that is 1200. So, one part becomes 400. Okay, now active partner's profit on the share that is P1 is two parts. So P1 equal to 2 parts of use, 2 into 400 because one part is 400, so 800. So active partner that is push profit on the share is 800. Now, now we know that active partner's total profit is 1200 as they have given in the question. We know the total profit of the active partner and also profit on the share of the active partner. So it is, it is easy to find out the salary. So total profit of push equal to profit on the share plus salary that is 1200 plus equal to 800 plus salary. So salary becomes 400. So salary of the push is 400. So to find salary in partnership problems, just consider the sleeping partner share from there find out the active partner share and from there you can find out the salary of the active partner. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, My Happy Skills.